Hi everyone and welcome to the latest webinar from Cosmetic Laser Dermatology. Today we are here with Dr. William Groff and we are really excited to talk about a brand new procedure, proprietary procedure, just um, available at Cosmetic Laser Dermatology, which is the Thermisculpt 3. It's a combination treatment to dramatically reshape and tighten your neck and jawline. And Dr. Groff is gonna go all into explaining what it is, how he does it, what techniques are used, and of course, show you some of the amazing results that we are seeing. So a lot of you are joining right now. I'm just gonna give everyone a minute or two to get situated. Um, but for those of you that are already here, we will have time for question and answers. So if you'd like, if you're um, coming in on Zoom, if you'd like to use the Q&A feature, that would be ideal. You can ask questions as, as soon as you're ready throughout the presentation or at the end, in case Dr. Groff may get to your question all, um, all himself. And you also can chat and use the chat feature if anything's going on or if you need to communicate with me. But otherwise, it's best if all questions can be in the Q&A so we can manage them. So a lot of people are still joining. I know this is a really exciting topic that all of us actually, including me, really want. We all stared at ourselves in Zoom too much. So, um, all right, let's get started. So welcome to the latest webinar from Cosmetic Laser Dermatology. You are tuning in today with Dr. William Groff, and he is going to announce our brand new procedure, the Thermisculpt 3, which is proprietary, just available at Cosmetic Laser Dermatology. And it's a unique combination of treatments that really sculpt your neck and jawline. So let, first, let me tell you a little bit about the practice. Next slide. So cosmetic laser dermatology, in case you don't know, we were established in 2010. We have well over 50 lasers and devices, six dermatologic surgeons. We offer cutting edge treatments and we have a full research center. So we often um, are using devices and using technology long before it's approved or available elsewhere in the country. And most of all, we are very proud to have more energy and laser devices than almost any other practice in the world. And that means for you that we can actually truly customize treatments just for your needs. And now, Dr. Groff, who many of you may know, I hope you know, but Dr. Groff is an incredibly talented board certified dermatologist that we're very lucky to have. Not only do we feel that way, but he was actually voted the best dermatologist and the best cosmetic surgeon by the San Diego Union Tribune and the La Jolla Light the last four years in a row. So apparently the public feels this way as well. Um, Dr. Groff has over 21 years of experience. He's lectured all over the world, um, a lot on lasers and on all different types of cosmetic dermatology treatments. He's published in many scientific journals. And even though today he is talking about thermisculpt, he's also well-versed in injectables and body sculpting and many other types of cosmetic dermatology. As, and so are the rest of our five other board certified dermatologists, all of them can do this proprietary treatment that we're sharing today. So without further ado, Dr. Groff, take it away. So thanks everyone for being here. Um, I think Risa touched on a good point earlier uh, when she's talking about the Zoom meetings because certainly uh, since, you know, Corona epidemic started, a lot of people are spending a lot of time on their screens and, uh, you know, looking at themselves with their phone and, you know, with those angles, you, everyone always looks at the neck. It seems to be the first place that their eyes are drawn to. So we've seen a lot of consultations for this sort of thing. And, you know, the great part about being in this practice is that because we do a lot of research and we have a lot of, uh, you know, we get a lot of research devices before they're released to the public to try and see what works, what might not work. So we're able to develop a lot of um, techniques and things here in the office that, you know, only we offer. And one of those is this Thermisculpt 3. <clears throat> so this has been something that's been developed over the last, I'd say, several years. And in my experience in doing this, you know, for well over 20 years now, it's the best thing I've seen next to surgery for the neck. So 
Just like every other procedure, our goal is to try to find something that's minimally invasive yet gives a, a reproducible um, and appreciable result. And I think that's what Thermiscalp can do for many patients. You know, the best way to figure that out is, of course, to come in for a consultation because just like any other treatment, not everyone's a good candidate for this. But if you are, it can be an awesome tool uh, to help with the uh, aging of the, the neck and laxity. So first, I'm going to start with this video, and um, it, there's volume. So I'm going to. This is an actual thermoscal procedure, it condensed to about three minutes or so. So today we're going to be doing one of my favorite procedures, which is called thermitite. Thermitite is a procedure which is designed to tighten the skin, particularly underneath the chin and in the neck area. Can you extend up? So when patients have a little bit of laxity in this area, this is the best treatment that I've seen in 17 years for this area. So we're gonna get started first, we're gonna numb this area, and then I'll show you there's a probe that goes under the skin that actually heats the skin and causes it to contract. You can actually uh, melt fat with it as well. So we're gonna get started with the numbing. So you can see we're just gonna put a little bit of anesthetic on the right side of the neck here. And then I'm gonna have the patient lift her chin up nice and high. And we'll do a little bit here. And then now we're gonna swing around to this side and do the same thing. A little bit of anesthetic. Okay, good, perfect. So now we're injecting the tumescent anesthetic solution, which will numb up the entire neck area. You can see how quickly we can do this. And there's very little discomfort because I already placed a little bit of lidocaine in the entry point. So we're starting the actual thermitite procedure. You can see that I have the thermitite probe is underneath the skin. So I'm the beauty of this procedure is you're able to actually direct the radio frequency energy to the undersurface of the skin where you need it. So you can get that tissue contraction or tightening that you want. And you can see we have a camera here that monitors the temperature so we know exactly what the temperature of the skin is at all times. And we have this infrared uh, monitor which helps us track the heating process. So generally this could take anywhere from, you know, seven to 12 minutes to get the temperature to what, what we want for tissue contraction. So you can see the patient's completely numb, not having any discomfort at all. And we're just slowly going to deliver this energy to this submental or the area under the chin. Okay, so we just finished doing the thermitype portion. Now we like to finish that off after we use the device to kind of melt the fat and cause some tissue contraction. We're gonna remove that melted fat with this uh, cannula here. So this is the final part of the procedure for us and she'll do great. Here we go. So you can see that in the tube there, you can see some of the fat that's coming out. So this is just our way of making this procedure the best it can possibly be. You have the uh, tissue contraction from the radio frequency device, but then we actually remove the fat too, so it's a win-win all around and we get the best result possible. She'll drive herself home from this procedure, which is amazing. There's no re reason patients can't be awake and alert for this procedure. They have no pain because we numb them completely, so they can drive themselves home, which is great. So this is just another video showing. You can see the camera on the left there. That's an infrared camera. Camera that was uh, the technology is developed uh, for fighter jets to detect uh, mm -hmm. heat signatures from enemy planes. But anyway, uh, that's what helps us keep track of how 
warm the skin is getting from our treatment. So this is just an animation that shows that when the radio frequency is applied to the under surface of the skin, you get this tissue contraction or tightening. So we, there's a few things we know about radio frequency and about heat. So if we wanna get the skin to kind of shrink and tight, we need to achieve a certain temperature and that temperature being approximately 55 degrees Celsius. To actually melt fat, we need to go hotter and that's where we need temperatures closer to 70 degrees Celsius. But all of that is monitored by the machine. You can see the camera, you can see the monitor. So it's all well controlled and very safe. So to give you an idea of the sizes of the probe and things that we use during the, the treatment. Well, first of all, so I don't know if you can see in that video, but I take a tiny needle. The needle that I use is the same size as when you go to a lab to get your blood drawn. The size needle they use in your arm is the size that I use to make my entry point. So as most of you know, from probably having blood drawn dozens of times during your life, it doesn't leave any scar. So when we make the tiny little entry point here, and usually one on either side, that's where we fit that cannula through, which you can see on the left there, it's tiny. If you, I put a ballpoint pen to the right, so you can compare the diameter. So you can see it's, it's a little bit larger, maybe than the point of that uh, pen. Now the same with the Thermi probe. When I place the Thermi probe, it's that probe that delivers the heat or the radio frequency to the underside of the skin. It's just as small. So the beauty of this procedure is not only that it's painless and that you can drive yourself to and home from the procedure, but uh, there's no scars, there's no incisions, there's no cutting and downtime is minimal. Um, and that was the point of this slide. You know, can a facelift tighten the neck? Well, sure, but it's got, you know, when patients get a surgical face or neck lift, you're basically starting with an incision in the hairline here, going all the way through the ear, behind the ear and into the hairline back here. And it's done under, usually under general anesthesia. So, and they do do different things. I mean, of course, but for a non-invasive procedure that has minimal downtime and doesn't require anesthesia or cutting, uh, the Thermi sculpt is, is pretty amazing. So how are the results? So I think the best way, whenever patients come in to see me for a consultation, I love for them to see photos because how else can you tell? I mean, I can tell you all day a procedure can do, do this, that, and the other, but to say it and actually see it are two different things. And I think it's most important, if I was a patient going to see a doctor for a cosmetic procedure, I would want to see at least, I don't know, 10 to 20 examples of the procedure that that doctor had done. So I'd have some degree of confidence that it was a good procedure and that they were adept at performing that procedure. So here's a patient. These are all patients of mine. Uh, and every single photo that I show you, they're my patients. And the before and after is one treatment only. There's no multi-treatment photos. These are all just one treatment. So if you look at this, uh, this patient's under, we call it the submental area, but the area under the chin, you can see quite a bit of tightening. And not only that, the other thing you can appreciate is the horizontal lines on her neck are improved as well. And we see that a lot in a lot of the patients that have this procedure to improves the horizontal lines as well as tightens this area. This is just a different angle. Now this patient was in her upper fifties, but we really have treated patients from their twenties up till probably even early eighties. Uh, you know, I have all different age ranges of patients that have this procedure performed. So you can see not only does it tighten this area, but it also helps redefine the jawline. So if you look at the, uh, the photo on the, le the left, her face basically was one continuous playing with the neck. There was no defined jawline, but you can see after the procedure, she has a much more defined jawline. This is a different patient. <clears throat> I just like this photo because it shows a couple of different things. This patient is uh, only three days out from the procedure. And when you look at her, you can't even tell anything was done. If you look very closely at her after picture, you can kind of see the entry point just below the ear, but barely. 
So point being, no scars. This is a scarless procedure. There's no cutting involved. It's all minimal um, as far as any kind of uh, downtime or invasiveness. This is the same patient. So looking straight on now, you can see three days after, she just has a little bit of bruising in the upper neck, barely perceptible. Could really go to work if uh, she needed to. Now, of course, afterwards, there can be some um, tenderness and soreness, but nothing that requires any kind of significant pain medication. Usually just Tylenol is more than fine. So here's a, a little bit younger patient in her 40s now that had quite a bit of laxity and, and, and fullness below the chin. And this is her four months after uh, I did her treatment. And again, you can see how a lot of tightening here and the jawline is more defined. Lateral angle, same patient. So it even looks like, you know, when you have that fullness in the neck, it makes anyone look like they're heavier in general. So if you take away this fullness, a patient can look 20 pounds lighter overall, or even 30 pounds. This is an older patient in her 50s. I mean, older than the prior, not old, of course. Uh, it has some laxity, and hers was mostly the skin laxity, not really a lot of fat there. But you can see one month out, her neck looked great. Jawline, again, you can see the jawline's more defined. Again, another patient in her 50s, six weeks later, looking good. Now, the beauty of this procedure is you see almost immediate improvement with it, even the first couple of days. Some patients, it takes longer than that to see the improvement, but some patients is just a matter of a few days. But then you'll have continual improvement and tightening of the neck that will continue for at least six months as new collagen elastic tissue form and the, uh, the, the wound healing underneath the skin continues for many months, which creates more tightening in the area. Here's another patient in her uh, low 50s and just different angles. You can see straight on side uh, view. Um, again, for a non-surgical procedure, I think it's pretty amazing. A procedure that I can really do in 45 minutes to an hour and the patient drives themselves home. Because really, again, the only other option that works for this sort of thing would be something surgical, which again is a totally different ball game as far as risks, complications, downtime, anesthesia, cost, all those things are significantly higher with surgery. Here's a 42 year old patient, uh, just a lateral view um, of her and again, just one treatment. This is a, an oblique view, same patient, 42 year old. This patient's about 46. Again, she's about two months out, one treatment. 60 year old patient, you can see the straight on view. I mean, looks so much better. Uh, I think there's a side view here too. And she had a lot of sun damage on her neck, which I was able to help her out with laser. So with Thermitite, and I'll get more into this later, you can actually couple the Thermitite procedure with other lasers we use for sun damage, wrinkle reduction, brown spots, um, many different things. So we can do the neck face at the same time. I'll have examples of that in a little bit here. And this is this 60-year-old uh, patient about a year out from her procedure. Looking good. Here's a 58 year old patient that I treated. Again, you can see the, the fullness here. And that's five months after treatment. Different angle, same patient. I mean, I just like this picture because this woman was in her 70s and she had really never had anything done. She had come from the Midwest and her neck really bothered her. I mean, you can see it was quite a lot of volume there, a lot of laxity. Now she's only five days out here. So there's still some swelling underneath and some bruising, but I mean, what a difference. I mean, she gave me a big hug when I came into the room, which was awesome. Her, her daughter's a patient of mine. So I've known her daughter for a long time. So I was really uh, pleased with how well she did. And again, just five days later. And if you look closely, I mean, obviously you can see some bruising. Um, 
But if you look closely in the her earring, there's a little like small dark spot. That's one of the entry points, which again will heal without any scar. So, so although I, I would say that 90% of our patients, maybe 85 to 90% of our patients are females uh, still. Uh, I have a lot of men that come in. This gentleman flew in from uh, Mexico City. He was in his uh, mid forties and this, he came back to see me six weeks later and it was all already significantly better. And I anticipate like every patient, he will continue to, this area will continue to shrink and improve for at least six months. So again, there's immediate improvement and then continual improvement. So it's a great procedure for men. I mean, men are hard to get in to do procedures because they don't want people to know. They don't wanna have the external signs that things were done. So thermotite's a procedure that you can do and almost within a few days, no one can tell you had anything done. So it's a great treatment for guys. Here's a different uh, 50 year old uh, male patient that I did. So uh, looks great. So, but we do get the younger patients because, you know, a lot of times this fullness, it's a genetic thing. Like I see a lot of patients that are fit, look great, uh, keep in shape, but they have this stubborn little bit of something here. And she's a perfect example of that. You see these, again, one treatment, big difference. Again, you can, she's starting to, uh, just a few weeks out, she already looks probably 50% better at least. Here's an even younger patient, 33-year-old, just bothered by that little bit of fullness under there. So one week later, that's the middle picture, you can see a, quite a nice change. And then two months after, he looks even better. So that's the trend we see with this procedure, almost immediate improvement and continual improvement. This is just the other side, which you can see how much better it looks at two months and even at one week. Different patient, again, patient in her 30s, was unhappy, uh, fit. She was fit as a fiddle, but just had this fullness here. So that's two months after. You can see, again, more of a jawline there. Here's a 39-year-old female, uh, four weeks out, I believe, from the procedure, if I remember correctly. Um, but she looks amazing. I love that she might be one of my favorites as far as uh, how dramatic that change was for her. And again, perfectly like probably weighed, she was probably like five, seven, 125 pounds. And so it wasn't a weight issue at all. I mean, sometimes it can be, but it's still addressable. There's a 31 year old. So some really young patients, um, nothing they can do. They can work out all day and can't get rid of the stubborn little coolness here. Now here's a patient in her 40s. So sometimes what we'll do, but I'd say it's 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 the minority of the time, but a great addition to doing the thermi sculpt procedure here. Sometimes, like I did for this patient, I put a little bit of filler in her chin. You can see how it was just one syringe of volume. gave her that little bit of extra projection in her chin, which looks great, helps extend the jawline, and then in combination with thermi tight, she looks amazing. So one syringe of Luma, thermoscope. Even from the straight on view, you can see how this little bit of fullness that when you really pick up on Zoom or with a selfie with your phone is gone. So one of my favorite, favorite things to do is combine the thermoscope with things I do in the face, because then we're talking uh, for the right patient, we can make some really major changes. So. This patient is one month out. I want you to look at the texture of her skin from the cheek through her chin, temple areas, her nose. No makeup on in the before and after. So what I did was I did what we call take 10 laser resurfacing. We call it take 10 because it takes 10 years off the appearance of uh, your average patient's face. So we did the take, or I did the take 10 in combination with the thermoscope on her neck. So it's a facial resurfacing procedure and the neck at the same time. My absolute favorite thing to do. 
So a lot of patients will do this instead of doing something surgical. And it makes sense. And you know what, when you think about it, if you get a facelift, for example, sure, does it, it pulls the skin, but the surface of the skin can still look bad. It doesn't change the fact that there are, are wrinkles around the mouth. It doesn't change the fact that there'll be crepiness under the eyes or there'll be crepiness of the upper eyelids or that there's brown spots everywhere. So lasers and procedures like thermoscope have a definite role and surgery has a role. So again, this is just a different angle on that patient. Uh, and I like the close-up because you can really see the textural improvement and the contour change of the uh, neck. Here's one of my favorite, favorite patients because wow, what a difference. Now she's about three weeks out. So I did take 10 resurfacing on the face, which is a procedure where I combine multiple lasers in one treatment session. So this is one treatment to get from point A to point B or the before to the after. Um, and then I did it in combination with the neck work, the thermi skull. So you can see huge difference, no surgery, no cutting, all laser, all thermi skull. So, and so like I said, she's three weeks out there. A little bit of makeup on, I think the hide. She might've had a little residual pigness, but looked amazing. Here's another one where I combine the take 10 resurfacing, which by the way, I did a webinar on, on take 10 about, I think two or three months ago, which you can access uh, through our website or through my Instagram or uh, through the practices Instagram or Facebook as well. So and here's another patient in her 60s. If you look at her upper eyelids, her lower eyelids, the wrinkles around the mouth, none of those things would be addressed with a facelift per se. So we opted to go the laser route and I did the thermi sculpt, which you can see the tightening of that little bit of loose skin in her pre photo. And then the side view six months later. Here's a patient I recently treated within the last few months. Lots of sun damage, lots of lines and wrinkles, textural changes. So I did the take 10 resurfacing on the face, thermi sculpt on the neck and you can see a huge difference in this fullness and the lines on the side of the neck and on her jawline. Look how she's starting to establish a jawline now. Whereas before it was again, the face is kind of blended with the neck. So, so who isn't a candidate for thermis sculpt? Well, one of the problems that patients have that they come and see us for is these, these two bands. There's oftentimes one or two neck bands and those are muscles. So Thermisculpt isn't gonna work on that. Botox can help with that. But really the only other option, if Botox doesn't help the patient, then it's surgical. So there's no laser, there's no machine that can deal with you know these platysmal bands because they're muscles. If you like, Look at yourself in the mirror, and you, you know, you go like this, you can see the bands pop. But so, for some patients, they're there even when they're relaxed. So those, these patients would not be good for thermoskull. So uh, if you'd like, you can follow me on social media, at Facebook or um, at, on Instagram. It just, if you just type in my name, Dr. William Groff, to any of those. Uh, and YouTube as well. I have a YouTube channel that has a, I mean, I think, maybe a hundred videos or more on it. You can look at videos of different procedures, including thermi tight again. Um, and there's a lot of before and afters with my Facebook and my Instagram. So I think now Risa is going to help us out with some questions and answers. Right, Risa? Yes, here I am. Thank you so much. Awesome. That, that was great. Sorry, it took me a second. We have a ton of questions here to get to. So oh, yeah. everyone, um, if you have not yet, this is a great time to populate any of your questions in the Q&A. And I think you should all be able to see each other's questions. Um, so like a lot of, so in case you don't have to ask something that's repeated. So I know that Dr. Groff, you already went through some of these. Um, I'm gonna stop the sharing just so we can see you a little bigger if that's okay. okay. So I know some of these you went through live, but if it's okay, we can go through some of them again. So let's talk about the downtime just for the Thermi Sculpt 3. Sure. So 
as I mentioned in the, uh, the lecture, the Thermoscale 3, because all the work is done underneath the skin, uh, many patients feel as if they could go back to work. We could do it on a Friday and go back to work on Monday because beyond maybe a little bit of swelling and not even everyone gets bruising. In fact, most of my patients probably don't even get bruising because what we do is when I numb up the neck, there's an, there's, um, an ingredient in the numbing, it's called epinephrine. And epinephrine, what epinephrine does is it makes all the uh, blood vessels in the skin kind of tighten down. So when we do our procedure, we really get minimal to no bruising a lot of times. But, uh, and of course, in the, in the era of wearing masks, which, well, some people are, some aren't, depending on what kind of work you do, but that could certainly hide any little bit of swelling or uh, bruising you have. But even patients who aren't wearing masks, most of them feel like they could go back to work in like three days, I'd say. That's amazing. It's really amazing. Yeah. So, all right. Can this be done on the face and not the neck? And someone else asked if it could be done on the arms. Can this be done on the face? Uh, sometimes we will do it into the uh, jowl area here, but I've seen the most impressive changes in the upper neck. Um, this, this area is a little more resistant to therapy. Okay, and how about doing this somewhere else in the body, like arms? Uh, it can be done there, but again, I've really found the home run place for this procedure is here. So I, I tend to do, and some other doctors may feel differently about it, but I really try to focus my work with this treatment on this area because I feel that's where it's a home run every time, yeah. where other areas might be a little more hit or miss. But if the arms are your concern, we certainly have many other procedures. Oh, yeah, we have other options as well. And, you know, you never, you know, the best way to find out is to come in and have us take a look. I mean, it's, you know, it's hard to make blanket statements. So, uh, yeah, of course, of different, course. right? So, yeah. Okay, here's a couple good questions. So, can I do uh, tight if I've previously had Kybella? Oh, 100. Yeah, I've done it a lot on patients because, you know, I, most of you probably don't know this, but several years ago, uh, we were, uh, the facility that did the research that led to the FDA approval of Kybella. So our office has done probably more Kybella than anyone in the past. I mean, I would say, I honestly haven't picked up a syringe of Kybella in probably, I don't know, three or four years because the problem with Kybella is it requires multiple visits. The patients have a lot more downtime than they do with Thermi or Thermi Sculpt because Kybella, you get a lot of significant swelling and it works okay. Whereas again, if the right patients are chosen for thermoscope, it's a home run and everyone's happy. Yeah. Okay, so I know you already addressed this, but let's just go over it one more time. So how long do the <clears throat> results last and do you need more than one treatment? Uh, I, I mean, we've been doing variations of this procedure for years now. So I would say it lasts at least a few years, if not several years. Um, and I don't know if I've done, I had to do a second, I don't think I've had to do a second treatment on anyone yet. So at least a few years, but more All like right. several or longer. Got yeah. it. So um, let's see, is it, uh, what happens if you don't have that much fat in your neck? Well, if you, a simple test is to, if you just pinch here and then pinch over here, you can feel the difference in the thickness. So whatever you're feeling, the difference here is fat. So if you're pinching a quarter inch, a half an inch, I mean, you're going to do well with it. So, but again, that's what our consultations are for. If I take, I mean, and patients do well that just have laxity, but it's, what if it's excessive laxity? I'm probably not going to recommend you do the procedure. Um, I mean, I want to have happy patients. If I don't think you're going to do well, I'm not going to recommend it. So, uh, the only way to know for sure is obviously, I mean, you could do virtual consult, which is okay, but it's better to be seen in person, of course. Um, so are there any side effects or issues with asymmetry that you've seen? With asymmetry? Um, I actually haven't had a, a single patient who felt, I mean, knock on wood, it, the potential is there, I guess, but I've never had someone who's felt asymmetric or complained of asymmetry afterwards. So the common things after the expected things after the procedure would be swelling, uh, the potential for swelling, bruising, uh, so, some level of discomfort, but easily handled with over-the-counter pain medications. And a lot of patients take nothing. And 
What am I missing? Numbness and tingling. The skin can feel a little bit numb for several weeks, but again, not a big deal. I don't think too many people are going to be bothered if they have a few weeks to several weeks of kind of numbness in the neck area, but have a great, you know, tightening effect. So. And um, any other side effects? <clears throat> not, not off the top of my head. Not nothing. Um, that would it would have to be something very rare. Okay. I mean, I've seen, for, exa for example, I've never the potential is there for infection, but I've never seen a single one, and I don't think any of my partners here have had one, so it would be exceedingly rare. But yet, a potential complication. So. So, can you talk a little bit about how after the treatment, what do you look like? Do you wear a chin strap? What do you? What yeah, every doctor is different as far as what they recommend. I usually like to put a piece of supportive tape. It's like a uh, soft foam tape, but it's supportive. So you put that underneath here and then we'll have a head wrap around for at least 24 hours with the wrap. Sometimes I'll go 48 hours um, and then the tape will fall off in a couple to a few days. So that's it. Okay. So does this also help tighten the jowls? Oh uh, yeah. Someone asked about that earlier. It can, but it wouldn't be my primary driver for having you do it. So in other words, if this is your primary concern, I pro and there's nothing going on here, I wouldn't suggest it. How about neck banding issues? No, that's exactly, you must have come into the talk after I was done, because <laughs> I point out anyone who has platysmal bands, those are muscular. So uh, there's no non-invasive treatment that's gonna address those. Botox can definitely help. So we have plenty of patients that we, in fact, I did at least three patients today where I did Botox in their neck bands. So, but for some patients it doesn't work um, and then they need surgery. That is a surgical thing if Botox doesn't help. All right, and how is this different than liposuction? Well, because with straight liposuction, there's no energy or heat that's imparted into the um, subcutaneous tissue. So you don't get the same tightening effect. And also you're not having, you know, whereas the thermitite, you can actually melt the fat as well before it's removed, which is more efficient. Got it. In my opinion, yeah. All right. So let's see. Um, how long does the procedure take in the office? It usually takes me from start to finish, I'd say 45 minutes to an hour tops, unless it's a patient has excessive fullness or something. Yeah. All right, so some people are asking about how this compares to some other procedures. So let's start with um, thread lifts. They're asking if it's better than thread lifts. Yeah, I don't think there's any comparison. I would put my thermi type or thermi sculpt results up against anyone's threads. I mean, I can show 40 or 50 patients I've done this on no problem. I guarantee no one that does threads can do that. Yeah, it's pretty different. No way. Yeah. We have and threads here, so it's, yeah. I'm not, yeah, so I have experience with both. So um, the big hot question a lot of people ask is what is the price range for something like, like this? I know. It's so I would say it can vary on the lowest end at 3,500. The average is probably 45 to five. So it just depends on the amount of work it's gonna take. Okay, great. So yeah. I don't know about what you guys think, but. I think that's very reasonable so that when I look at myself, I... Yeah, because really your only options are that or surgery. And a, a plastic surgeon in town is going to run, I mean, I bet some of these attendees have been to their offices. It's going to run on the low end, probably high teens. Mm -hmm. so some of the guys in town now are up in the 40s to 50s range by the time they're done giving you a quote for this, that, and the other thing. Yeah. So. And it's surgery. It's much more Right. Different. And it's surgery, which is a whole different ballgame. With, like I said earlier, a whole host of potential risks, not to mention looking overdone, weird, you know, which doesn't happen with these non-invasive procedures. All right, so let's get into the take 10 a little bit because at the end you brought that up and there's of course a lot of questions because it's another one of our phenomenal treatments that you're very well known for. Right. So, so uh, can you do this at the same time as the take 10? Yeah, it absolutely. I mean, if a patient's a good candidate for both, I don't think there's a, a better way to do it because then you just have one period of downtime and the results are amazing combining the two. You have a refreshed face and a refreshed neck. I mean, it's perfect. They go hand in hand. 
Yeah. So some people were just asking about laser as well. And yes, you could do laser. At the oh, same absolutely. Time. Any laser. Yes. You can. In fact, we can do the thermitite and laser the next skin at the same time for textural improvement. If you have brown spots, redness, you know, any surface issue can be addressed at the same time. So is this treatment part of take 10? Well, take 10 generally refers to a procedure in the face that we do that takes 10 years off the face. But oftentimes, like I said, we'll combine it into the take 10 uh, approach with the base. Yes. And how long is the downtime for those amazing results from the take 10? Well, take 10, you have to plan for more downtime um, because thermitite, you have to remember, if you look back at the video that I showed you, all the work's being done under the skin. Whereas with when, when I do a take 10 on the face, all the lasers are working on the surface of the skin. So you have this surface downtime, which the recovery generally takes, depending on the age of the patient and what I'm required to do, I'd say a week to 10 days. So a little bit, you know, twice as long as the downtime for just doing the thermia on the neck. Got it. And there's a lot of people that are commenting that are out of town. So talk to okay. me if you feel like you can do a consult for this virtually. And then if they come down and fly to get the procedure, what kind of, how long do they have to stay and what's the follow-up like? If they're just, just doing the neck, we can, you know, I, I do a ton, you know, a bunch of virtual consultations for patients out of town. I mean, usually, you know, we like to do the video consultation, but at the same time, maybe before the video, uh, you'll email photos, including a straight on and then side views. And so that way I can look at the photos and then talk to you live on camera and we can figure it out, certainly with the combination of the two. And then as far as patients staying in town, they can fly out the same day. I mean, it'd probably be nice to stay one night overnight, but I've had patients even do the take 10 and fly out uh, the same day, which I don't recommend, but it can be done. But, but for the next specifically, I think you could easily safely fly out the same day or the next day and not have any problems. Got it. You got to remember, you're going to be wearing, you know, for the first 24 hours, we like to have you wear that strap. So as long as you don't care about people seeing you flying, you know, I would stay a few days if you can. I mean, why not? San Diego is a beautiful place to be. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Especially right? gorgeous. And yeah. um, I guess the any differences in coming from out of town for the take 10 procedure? No, I mean, the same thing. We do a video consultation with in conjunction with photos. I mean, the photos are so good. You can take your iPhone and take your photos and they're amazing. So that's what we do. Yeah. yeah. Um, but after take 10, you cannot drive, right? No, because with the, the face, when we're doing a face laser procedure, like take 10, where I'm taking 10 years off, addressing lines, wrinkles, tightening the skin, we are going to use a medication to relax you for the procedure that you can't drive on. Okay. So if you have, you know, some neck issues, but it's not just um, laxity or sagging skin, it's actually from being a little bit overweight, is this procedure still possible to do? Oh, for sure. Yeah. So, I mean, if you look back at the before and afters, and I mean, not, you know, some of those patients, you know, maybe 10, 20, 30 pounds overweight, um, and that's fine. I mean, a lot of times this gives them a boost in confidence and it drives them to want to like, say, for example, work out. So it can be a good motivator when they, they see the change here and they're like, wow, I look great. It really, like I said, boosts their, um, their motivation to do things to get. Mm -hmm. So yeah, absolutely. absolutely. And so those, um, those cannulas that you showed, are there any small scars left behind by any of the incisions? No, because there are no incisions. If, uh, like I was explaining in the beginning of the talk, if you imagine the size of the needle when you go to get lab work drawn from your arm, it's the same size needle that I use to make the entry points. So if you look down at your arm and look and be like, do I have any scars from my prior, prior blood draws? I want doubt it. I mean, I don't. I've probably been poked a hundred times at least in my life. So, you know, one poke here, one on the other side, you're not going to see anything. Absolutely. No incisions, no stitches, no cutting, no scars. So how does the skin um, from where you've removed the fat bounce back or is there, or is there laxity? <clears throat> well, first of all, when a patient has fat here, it actually weighs down the skin. So just by, for most, a lot of patients, just taking that fat out allows some recoil of the skin. 
But in addition to that, we're applying that radio frequency energy to the undersurface of the skin, and that's what causes the additional tissue tightening. Got it. All right. Um, let's see. So many questions coming in here. Um, let's see. If you do the, um, let's see. So, how does the Take 10 compare to just getting Fraxel alone? And can Fraxel work on the neck to tighten? Fraxel is not going to give, I mean, Fraxel is good for texture. And, and sun damage, but it's not going to get, you're not going to get any significant tightening on the neck from Fraxel. Not like you saw in those pictures, not like the thermos sculpt, not even close. Yeah. So, yeah. And would there be any people that are not a candidate for this? For example, one person asked they had a previous chin implant and someone else said they had a previous neck lift. Neck lift would not be a contraindication. Um, chin implant, We've done patients with chin implants, um, no problems. Um, yeah, we, the, the thing is patients who have those prominent um, platysmal bands, it's not going to work for them, so they would not be a candidate. If a patient had a pacemaker, I would want to get clearance from their cardiologist first. Okay. So, things like that. And if someone does have jowls, what procedure might you combine <coughs> to treat the jowls? Well, I mean, it, it can help the jowls, but it depends how bad the jowling is. And, you know, laser resurfacing can help with jowling too. But, uh, you know, it, again, it's such a wide range of treatments for depending on what the patient has. So, but they, yeah. they can help. But even I've seen patients who've had facelifts that still have jowling. So it's like, it's, yeah. it's not an easy problem to fix, but thermi sculpt can help and laser resurfacing can help. So if you look, you know, if you look at my before and after pictures of Thermi Sculpt or the Take 10 resurfacing, I mean, look at the jowling and see what kind of improvement you see. And, and that will give you a guide as to what to expect. Absolutely. So yeah. after this, does the patient feel like their neck is really tight? Are there any problems swallowing or numbness? Never seen it. No, never a problem swallowing, no excessive tightness. Those have never been complaints that I've had. Okay. And does this help at all with texture or crepiness? It can. Again, it wouldn't be, I would never tell a patient to do it to address that, but it is a side benefit that I've seen in patients. Again, if you look at some of the patients, you can see reduction in the appearance of lines in the neck is a side benefit, but some patients is not, it's not as appreciable. So wouldn't be my main driver, but it certainly, it can only help. All right. Another hot Topic, take 10, which we do have a take 10 webinar, which I can link in here for you all to watch. But since you showed some uh, pictures, people are wanting to know kind of the range of pricing for a take 10. Um, that one could range in the area, I'd say at the very low end, probably high threes to the high end for a face, I don't know, seven or so. I don't do the pricing, but that's but I've seen, I think I, it could be a little lower, it could be a little higher. Yeah, but again, that's that's why we offer consultations where we can give you a very detailed quote and you can ask all your questions. And then a lot of you are asking about combining this with other procedures. And of course, since we offer so much at Cosmetic Laser Dermatology, if this isn't the exact procedure that Dr. Groff recommends, he's gonna have something else in his bag. And we have about, I think we're up to at least around 50 lasers here, so. <laughs> If we don't have it, I probably know one does. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, so let me see. Okay, for the contraindications, a few more I missed. How about anyone with an inflammatory autoimmune disease like fibromyalgia? I mean, I would probably, again, for that specific condition, I might, you know, uh, that's hard to predict how they'll respond to any treatment. So I would might, again, want to get clearance from their whoever handles their, manages that fibromyalgia. Okay, and how about thyroid disease? Crazy. Uh, there should be no contraindications with that. That's not a problem. All right, I think we've almost gotten all these questions. It's a lot of questions coming in, but this is an interesting one. How does this device and procedure actually tighten skin? 
how does it act? Well, the, through the use of radio frequency generates enough heat in the skin, which causes collagen contraction and tightening, which you can kind of see in that animation video. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's very temperature dependent. But depending on what temperature you achieve, you, know, you can stimulate new collagen elastic tissue formation. Higher temperatures in the 55 degrees Celsius range is what gives you the, when you actually have the fibrous septae of the skin start to contract. So that's what we shoot for. Or if we're going after fat, we have to achieve somewhere around 70 degrees Celsius, which will actually melt the fat. And it's much easier to remove as well. So. Got it. And um, people are also asking a little bit about how this can compare to Ultherapy. We have Ulthera and I love Ulthera as a preventative maintenance treatment. But again, I mean, you're not going to see the dramatic change uh, that you see with Thermoscope with Althera. So again, I think of Althera like I've had it done myself. I think of it as a preventive maintenance treatment to keep me looking, I guess, younger, longer, but I certainly didn't expect any kind of significant lightning or tit or uh, like tightening <laughs> or lift. And uh, so if you really want the tightening here, the Thermoscope is going to be your best bet. Okay. And one more how about cool sculpting of the neck? I love cool sculpting. I think it's an amazing tool. And I think for the body, uh, for abdomen, flanks, inner thighs, outer thighs, it's amazing. I, I, it's a game changer for sure. It's really the only fat treatment that's not a base that actually works in my opinion, but I've been very disappointed at it for the, uh, for the uh, submental region or underneath the chin, because a lot of it has to do with the applicator. It has to be like the chin, the, the fat has to be the perfect amount or it just doesn't fit right into the applicator cup. So I generally don't recommend it. I mean, Thermoscope is just way more predictable. I know it's gonna work. There's no question mark. And it, it's like, it takes less than an hour. So yeah, that's my take on that. <laughs> all right, great. Well, I think we got through almost all the questions. I have one final one left and then I'll wrap up here. Thank you so much for all of you that, that stayed on till the end um, because we do have our giveaway as well. So um, how long before you see the optimal results? Um, I would say you'll see, uh, you see immediate improvement and then you'll see continual improvement for about six months. But you see the, uh, a large chunk of the improvement within, I'd say, six weeks. But you, you'll see improvement within, like, you could see some of those patients, a matter of a few days, look 50% better. Absolutely. That's really exciting. And yeah. if anyone is interested in this procedure or any procedures with Dr. Groff, I highly recommend, or even with any of our doctors, I highly recommend scheduling a consultation. Our phones are now closed, but you can schedule online. We are booking up very fast, well into the end of the summer right now. So it'd be great to get you on a schedule. So you save your space. You can always think about it and change later. But I do encourage you all to get on the schedule as quickly as possible because this procedure is, and um, take 10, and a lot of our procedures are just becoming very popular lately. I think everyone's excited to get back into the world. <laughs> So, all right, um, with this in mind, we are going to um, look at all of the attendees and we are gonna choose one lucky winner to get $1,000 off the Thermisculpt 3 procedure with Dr. Groff. So um, to give everyone privacy for HIPAA, we will review it privately and reach out. We have all of your emails from when you registered and we will reach out to you um, if for some reason you're not sure if we have your email, you're welcome to privately chat it as well to, to me right now. And if you wanna, you can do it anonymously if you want so people can't see your name, um, but we should have you if you registered. And otherwise, let me just make sure nothing else. Um, so everyone's saying thank you for all the information and great results. People are saying your skin looks great. Have you had a thermoscope? They must be asking you, Risa. <laughs> no, I have not, but I literally am on the list, but we've been so booked. I'm waiting um, for us to open You're up a little more one. so I can squeeze myself in. All right. But I definitely want to. And how about you? Your neck looks great. Uh, no, unfortunately, I haven't had to do it yet, but I'm sure my day is coming. <laughs>
Okay, great. Well, thank you so much. And I know some of you may have tuned in late and a couple of you may have missed your answers. So we are, um, this whole webinar was recorded and we are going to be emailing it out so you can access it and rewatch anything you'd like. And of course, you're always welcome to call us, um, send us a, a DM on Instagram, email us or schedule a consultation on the website right now yourself. So thank you so much, Dr. Groff, for sharing all okay. this great information and doing such a great job introducing this new treatment. I'm very excited and I hope, I hope you all learned a lot. Any final words? No, I just appreciate everyone uh, attending and I look forward to meeting you if you decide to come in for a consultation. Great, and if you're out of town, please, I hope Dr. Groff made you feel comfortable. We have a lot of people that fly in from all oh, over yeah. the, state, the country, even the world. So we can definitely accommodate yes. you and San Diego is beautiful to come visit. Yeah, it's made it, uh, it's the, the Zoom meeting and being able to do video consults a real game changer because uh, you get to meet the patient and um, you know, and then sending the pictures. I mean, the pictures are so good nowadays so we can really figure it out online. Yeah. Great. Well, thank you so okay. much, Dr. Groff. Thank you, everyone that joined yeah. us. And we look forward to seeing you all soon, hopefully. And we will um, contact the winner tomorrow. Perfect. Thanks, Dr. Groff. Bye. Okay. Bye.